Congratulations, you've recently purchased a Bamboo Lab P1S Combo 3D printer from Micro Center. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process of unboxing, assembling, and setting up your new 3D printer, as well as starting your first 3D print. You'll need a box cutter to open up the box, place the box on the ground in an open area, ensuring that the box is right side up. Slice open the top of the box and open the cardboard. There are two handles for the bag which are taped to the sides of the box. Pull off the tape. Take out the foam pieces on the corners and then remove the air bag on the middle. Now you can pull the entire bag by the handles. This allows you to pull the main parts from the box in one motion. Remove the rest of the packing materials from the box. On the bottom of the box, you'll find a project box that's included with every P1S combo. There's one spool of support filament and two spools of sample filaments. Now, set the box aside. The AMS is secured inside the printer. Open the plastic bag and then you can discard the bag. All parts are now unboxed and ready to unlock and assemble. The manual will be sitting on the top of the printer. Familiarize yourself with the steps of the build process. Carefully remove the plastic tape around the top panel. Flip the top panel upside down and remove the plastic wrapper on the panel. You can now set the top panel aside for now. Remove the plastic tape around the front panel. Open the front panel and carefully remove the plastic wrapper from the panel. Remove the cardboard box inside the printer. This is the parts box. This parts box will contain everything that you see here. We will review the contents of the parts box later. You will need the Allen key H2 tool in future steps. Make sure to take it out of the parts box. With everything set aside, remove the foam pieces sitting on the top. With the front door open, you'll find that the AMS is secured with these two screws with the orange indicators. Use the Allen key H2 tool to remove the two screws from this plastic piece. Gently remove the AMS through the top of the printer. Remove a total of four screws from the plastic piece using the Allen key H2 tool. Then you can remove the plastic piece. Gently push the tool head away from the corner and remove the cardboard piece from around the tool head. Peel off the tape on the tool head. Remove the foam piece from the excess chute. Remove the piece of tape near the air filter. There are foam pieces underneath the heat bed. This will be removed later. The heat bed is secured to the printer by three screws with orange indicators. Remove these three screws using the Allen key H2 tool to unlock the heat bed. Remove the tape that's covering the SD card. Take off the tape that's holding the LCD cable in place. Next, we will install the screen. Insert the LCD cable into the port on the screen. Make sure that the cable notch lines up with the port in the correct orientation. The hook on the back of the screen should be pointing to the left. Gently bend the LCD cable towards the opening on the back of the screen. Insert the screen into the slot in the printer and then you lock it by pushing it to the left. You can now install the single spool holder if you have a regular P1S or install the AMS if you have a P1S combo. To install the single spool holder, there is a label called spool holder assembly holes on the back of the printer. Remove one screw located on the right of that label using the Allen key H2 tool. Secure the spool holder using the two screws from the parts box. Once the spool holder is attached to the P1S, you can now place a spool on the spool holder and make sure that the lead of the spool is facing counterclockwise. Thread the filament manually through the filament inlet. Then place the top panel back on the printer with the Bamboo Lab logo facing the front. You are now ready to print with a single spool. If you have a P1S combo, we must first assemble the AMS. Peel off the plastic wrap around the AMS and then remove the tape on the back of the AMS. Open the AMS unit. There are spare PTFE tubes, which you can set aside. Remove the foam piece covering the filament inlets. Open the compartment holding the desiccant packs and remove the plastic bag of the desiccant and place it back into the compartment. This will help ensure that your filament is kept dry inside the AMS. Close the AMS and place it on top of the printer. On the back, insert the AMS PTFE tube into the filament buffer. 
plug the bamboo bus cable 4 pin into the filament buffer and insert the other end with the right angle connector into the printer. Hook the middle section of the cable into the clip on the filament buffer. Connect the bamboo bus cable 6 pin into the filament buffer and the AMS. It can be plugged into either interface on the AMS. Plug the power cable into the port on the back of the printer and turn on the P1S using the power switch. Your P1S combo is all assembled and ready to set up. When the printer is turned on, the screen will automatically turn on. You'll be prompted to read the user manual. Click the OK button. Next, you'll be prompted to make sure of the removal of the screws securing the heat bed. If you removed all of the screws, then press the OK button. Select your region. In this case, we'll go with North America. You can now log into your Bamboo Handy app. If you do not have a Bamboo account, you can skip this step, but we do recommend setting up an account and linking the printer. I have a Bamboo account and the Bamboo Handy app on my phone. Simply press the plus symbol at the top of the app and this will open the camera. Scan the QR code on the screen and you can link the printer to your account. We'll set up the Wi-Fi through the app, binding with the printer here. Select your preferred Wi-Fi and then enter your password. The printer is now connected to Wi-Fi. This allows you to print remotely from anywhere that you can access your account. Now the printer is ready to run a self-test. Click the OK button to start. During the self-test, the printer will lift up the heat bed. Now you can remove the foam pieces that are underneath the heat bed. Press the OK button once the self-test is complete. You'll be prompted to update the firmware. Update and confirm when done. Use the arrow key to select skip on the help prompt. You can now load filaments to start printing. Place at least one spool of filament into the AMS with the lead of the filament over the spool. Press down on the filament inlet to open the slot for the filament and then feed in the filament. The filament will automatically preload when detected by the AMS. Close the AMS and turn the buckle to lock the filament inside of the AMS. Your P1S is ready for its first print. Each printer will come with some files already pre-installed. On the screen, scroll down to the folder icon and select a file to start the first print. For our first print, we will start with a Benchy. Select Benchy and press OK. Press Print and the printer will take the rest from here. The printer will begin its first print. A Benchy is a good first print to ensure that everything is working correctly. Once the print is done, you can analyze it and see if there are any settings that need adjustment. Congratulations, you're all set and ready to start printing with your Bamboo Lab P1S combo. Be sure to stop by your local Micro Center if you have any questions, need any assistance with your printer, or if you want to pick up any additional filament or parts.